Hello, humans, dinosaurs! Yes, this is Lopo and say we are here to play a dinosaur game called Dino Pets! So, yes, uh, this is the first, uh, not really a first episode. So, if you guys remember a long time ago, we did, uh, not by a long time ago, it was like a couple days ago, but we made the dinosaur game tier list, if you remember. And one of those games that was in the tier list was this game, Dino Pets. So yes, this is actually an old, very old dinosaur park building simulator that has been, I think it has been taken off the app, app store, I think. So uh, yes, you actually can't play this, uh, you can't find this game on the app store anymore. But I actually spent a great number of my childhood playing this game and I, I got the APK. And yes, so, uh, so once again, Lofu is here. To make his dream dinosaur park, uh, now that he's an adult, so... <laughs> so, uh, yes, and of course, I had to use some special methods to get some resources, as you can see, uh... Yes, I think I can do- just do this, and there we go, and I can get million gems, so... <laughs> and, like, I can't pay money on this game, even if I wanted to, because, like, the, you cannot buy anything in this game, like, it's physically impossible, because... Google App Store has like taken down this game, so you physically cannot buy. The only way you can do this is by cheating in the resources. So, uh, yeah, so today, uh, well, I played this game when I was in like middle school, and now I'm like university student, so I'm, uh, it's very old. So, uh, yeah, so we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a beautiful dinosaur park, right? So, uh, let's see. How do I zoom in and out, right? There we I think that's how I zoom in and out? Yeah, there we go, right? So. Uh, let's start off. Build a home for the Plodocus. Right. So, I don't even remember all the dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, so we, we had the Diplodocus. Right. So, yeah, is it's kind of... I think it came out around the same time as JPOG, I think. So, let's go place down our Diplodocus. There it is. Right, we have our first dinosaur. Yeah, it's a Diplodocus. You can make a nest. Oh, look at this. All right, we have to lay an egg. Okay, let's lay this egg. Right, good old mobile games. It, it still reminds me of the good old days of playing a mobile game. <laughs> Where the first creature takes like 10 seconds, and the next thing you know, it's going to take you 300 days. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go to the hatchery. So I, I guess we need to place an egg for the hatchery. Let's, let's put it over there. Right. I can use gems. You know what? Let's do that. <laughs> it's going to take less than a minute, minute, but we have a, a, infinite gems. So, good. let's hatch our egg. Ooh, okay. So, there it is. There's our egg. Okay, so we can rename our baby Diplodocus. Let's name it Dippy. <laughs> Dippy the Diplodocus. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's build a tree house. Oh, okay, let's get this caveman hut. Okay, where do I place it? I don't know. We're just gonna place everything over here, I am assuming. Right. Oh my god. Indeed, Scaff Potato. It is, oh my god. <laughs> We're back to playing this game. The old game that we've all spent our childhood building, so... <laughs> there it is. Let's build... We've built a caveman house. Yeah, we reached level two. And what the hell is that thing? Dilophodocus? I don't even remember this being a cave. Right. <laughs> okay, uh, let's build a home for Dilophosaurus. Yes. A house for Dilophosaurus. Jeez, I wish I had free housing. Unfortunately, young Lofo would not realize, but the modern housing, housing market is way too expensive for poor Lofo to get his own house. <laughs> Mystery cave. Okay. So what is this mystery cave? Uh, let's put this over here. How do I put this? There it is. Alright, let's put stuff in here. Oop. Okay. Wait, is, is the chat box not active? The game, I did almost everything for its wiki. Oh, you worked everything on the wiki? That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so let's make this mystery cave. Right. Arrange a date for... What the hell? <laughs> okay, oh yeah, I, I forgot that's how you make those dinosaurs. Because you can't, you can't do Jurassic World genetic stuff. But the game still insisted on having hybrids. So, um... We're gonna... 
have the Dilophosaurus and the Plodocus, uh, well, frick each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be straightforward. Uh, yes, that's what that's something that we do in this game <laughs> So, uh, yes, right and let's let's we, we just made an abomination of nature and There it is. I, I still don't get how it's it's an aquatic creature It doesn't look like like Dilophosaurus is not an aquatic creature Diplodocus is not an aquatic creature, but this guy somehow is and don't ask me why! <laughs> it must be the frog DNA! <laughs> okay, so let's get that. Right. Yeah, level three! Oh my god, right. Congratulations, log on Facebook. Oh, wait! I can't get the Morphed on unless I log in with Facebook. Is that even possible? Like, is that is that even possible? Uh, logging into Facebook from an embedded browser is disabled. No, I don't think that is possible. <laughs> the game is so old that, like, the game doesn't allow me to log into Facebook. So, <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> that okay. So I guess we can't have the wait a baby Diplodocus. What the hell? We already have one. Uh, can I rename it? No, we already have Dippy. Right. Uh, okay, that was weird. Okay, right, go away. I'm not interested. Right. Uh, okay, so we have we have this abomination. Uh, right. So. This freak of nature, let's let's build him a nest. Right, so we can also make Triceraptor. Okay, so hold on, let me let me just right zoom out. Right. Zoom out, please. Right. Zoom out, Lofo. Right. Zooming in and out is so so hard if you're trying to do this in mobile in a mobile emulator, I swear to god. It's like legit the hardest thing. Right. There we go. Right. Let's get our coins for Dilophos- uh, Diplodocus, and you know what? Let's go ahead and let's make the nest for Dilophosaurus, too. Alright, let's do that. Let's lay your egg. Oh, I need one more keeper. I need more keepers. We need a leaf TP and a wood cabin. You know what? Let's get a wood cabin. Uh, let's put you over here. And what else do we have? Market. Bang, keepers, building, storage, decorations. Ooh, okay, we can buy decorations. Uh, alright. Floor tiles? What are floor tiles? Ah, I see. So we, you can have school tiles. All right. That's nice. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, you know what? So just like back in Jurassic World, the game, what we're going to do is we, we're just going to expand everything. Right? Let's, we're just going to focus on expanding everything. Right. We'll expand everything, then we'll stop building. Right. Beautiful, right? Level four, right? We got Diplo, Diplo, Carlos, and Innistrad and Sevia, right? Not now. Oh, I need two keepers, right? There we go. Now we have two keepers, right? We have Caveman Dave. I don't know. Is that is that your actual name? I have no idea. You're just gonna be Caveman Dave, right? Uh, I wish the still the game did good and have more updates. I really love the art style. Oh yeah, I love this art style too. There's a reason I'm playing this game today. <laughs> like, I still wonder what these two things were. Like, when I was a kid, I was always curious as to what this was. Uh, we never found out. We never found out what that was. <laughs> uh... Zoom out. Zoom out, Lofo, please. It's not that hard. Right, there we go. We'll, we'll get used to it, right. So let's just expand this. Six hours. Wow. Okay. Level five. Oh wow. What's a hobosaurus? Is that an actual creature? Or is that is a, is that another hybrid? Right. Twelve hours. Yep. That's mobile games for you guys. <laughs> right. So how far we can we expand stuff? Right. We got Allosaurus. Takes one day, right? Not anymore. Oh wow! Ooh, Dunk Cleosteus. Wow. Uh, so this game had so many obscure animals. Oh yeah, that is true. I need one more keeper. You need more, right? Uh, let's get Simba. Right, Simba. Uh, Simba. Uh, you get to be. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. 
You know what? Let's just put everything here. Bro, we just need to focus on... Expanding our house. Right. Quest complete, brother and sister. Oh, th that was a quest? <laughs> oh, now we also have 26 quests. Wow, uh, I did not realize that. Uh, okay. I guess we get a lot of quests every time we level up. So we have like a billion quests right now. That is not good. Right, hold up. Let me, let me try to do something about the controls. Right. Oh god, right. That is not... Let's just fix these controls. Okay, hold up guys. Let me just find something to zoom in and out with. There we go. There we go. Much more reliable. Right. Okay. There we go. So we have the... This guy. We have this guy. So how does this thing even lay an egg? You know, how do you even lay an egg? I, I don't understand how it lays an egg. Does it re reproduce asexually or something? Right. Okay. So let's grab you. Expand you. Oh my god. We're, we're unlocking everything. Right. I don't want to unlock everything, but if I don't, it's gonna be it's gonna be really weird trying to place all these animals. Ah, uh, but you know what? Let's let's try this. Right. Okay. So, uh, right. How are we gonna do this? Right. You've never heard about this game. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. Like, I, I guess you might be a bit younger, or older. Might not be the same generation, perhaps. I don't know, but like when I was a kid, like this game was like one of the big, big dinosaur games. <laughs> so let's see, uh, market. Okay. So I guess decorations. Yeah, floor tiles. Right. Yeah, I love these floor tiles. Like I love, like this is like, I think the, the first, like the only dinosaur game I'd say. That has a bunch of like stuff, things that actually, like that focuses on the roads, I think. All right. Dirt is free. Okay. So let's start off. Where do we start our dirt path? Well, let's put our dirt path over here. Right. Let's do it like this. Okay, let's move our Dilophosaurus. Right. I know what people used to always do is that because this is a, like a desert dinosaur, like it has a desert background, people would have like give it like dirt roads and uh let's see what's a mythical oh these are essentially all the hybrids <laughs> what is that thing <laughs> the dunkleo dostro <laughs> what okay you look so goofy <laughs> I don't think I ever unlocked this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that thing? Uh, D-Rex? What's a D-Rex? <gasps> Spinocarus. Wait, hold up. Spinocarus? Wait, isn't that just regular Dano Kairos now? <laughs> Wait, hold up, that's just Dano Kairos! Because I think back when the game was made, we didn't know how Dano Kairos looked, right? Hold up. Now we gotta look at Dano Kairos. There's gotta be a Dano Kairos, right? Wait, no way this game, like, knew what Dano Kairos was. Oh, we Wait, hold up. Is it not even a- it's not even a hybrid of Dino Kairos, it's a hybrid of... 
it's, I think it's a hybrid of Spinosaurus and, uh, where is it? Uh, the, the thing we just saw, uh, it's a hybrid of Spinosaurus and Ornithochiris. Like, yeah, it's just a hybrid of, uh, Ornithochiris and Spinosaurus. <laughs> and it somehow just became regular ass Thanochiris. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Right, okay, so let's see. So how do we still make the roads? Right, right, right. we still gonna make our beautiful road, right. Uh, let's see. Let's grab more dirt roads for our desert exhibition. Alright, let's do it like this. Right, so we can get our, get some desert stuff. Right, so what else do we have? Buildings, right, what buildings do we need? We have wild care, lost and found, popcorn cart, vegetable cart, egg stand. Ooh, yes, let's have them. Let's. We need those eggs. Right, let's put them right next to the Dilophosaurus. There we go. Yes! Right. Quest complete, buy an egg stand. Okay. Right. Unhappy accident, indeed. So, I wonder if we can put chairs in this game. Right, let's have Dilophosaurus lay an egg. Right. <laughs> Don't ask me how it's laying an egg. I thought it was a male, but guess it's also like I guess all these dinosaurs are like asexual. <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park without all the signs. Right, uh let's see. Decoration, right. So is there any like chairs or anything? No, I don't think the game has any chairs. Well, that's a shame. Oh, well, we'll still we'll still put them put them like this, right? Okay. Ah, uh, the good old days of Lo young Lofo playing this game. I still remember. Okay, let's grab some roads here. Here. Right. Okay, so the Lophosaurus now has an egg. Okay, let's move you over here. Right, there we go. Right, so can we get some trees? Right, uh, decoration. Right. We can get some flowers. Jinku sapling. Let's grab these. Oh, these things are big. Okay, I. Kind of wanted to have them there, but... Uh, let's say decorations. Small rock. Seed of Jujinku? There we go, that's good. Good, right. Let's have one here. And let's put... Small flower? No, let's, let's grab a shrub. Right. There we go. Now you look much nicer. Right. Pure aesthetic. Right, that's... That's all. That's only thing. That that's all we do here. Aesthetics only. Right. So Diplodocus. Where do we put our Diplodocus? Uh. Let's see. Right. Shall Shall we get another dinosaur, guys? Let's get another dinosaur. Right. So if I don't quite remember, but I think, if I remember correctly, uh, I think Velociraptor is also desert. No, it's it's rock. Okay, what is uh we need a desert dino? Is Inosaur and Sevia? No, the you are planes. Is was Allosaurus a desert? Was yeah, oh yeah, Triceratops was a desert, right? Let's put Triceratops right next to the Lophosaurus. Right, we have Triceratops! Yeah, okay. Triceratops, let's build you a nest. I hate how how I can't see the dinosaur when I'm actually building that thing. Right. So, let's see. You know what? Uh, okay. Let's try, ex like, you know what? Let's just expand everything, right? Oh, I need more keepers, right? Shell unit. Right. That actually looks like a desert house. But they, yeah, apparently, it seems like they also have Titanictus, so, yeah, this is 
pretty cool. Right. There we go. Hello, pink hat caveman. Right. It's a shame that I can't change, like, the terrain color. Like, it, the terrain is still green. Bit annoying, but whatever. Right. Let's grab more dirt. There we go. Right. Get some decorations. Right. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Oh, yes. I'd love to. I probably have loads of questions. Oh, we can have water. Right, there we go. A bit of water. Oh, this... Oh, the water tiles look really nice, actually. Oh, yeah, the water tiles actually look really nice. Right, Triceratops, it's time for you to lay an egg. <laughs> right, and hatch the egg. Oh, and it, it, it goes all the way up there. Okay, so what happens if I hatch you, egg? Oh, I need... I Okay, let's unlock another hatchery slot. All right, there we go. Now we have two eggs. Okay. So, uh, how many desert dinosaurs are there in this game? I don't know what the what color these animals are. Uh, I guess we'll just have to like, yeah, we'll. I guess we'll just have to expand everything. Hold up, isn't there like a wait so that news? There's no news. Okay, that's unfortunate. What's social? Invite friends. Oh, community. Oh my god. Philoso Raptor? Right, you know what? Alex Grant. Right, let's let's visit Philoso Raptor. <laughs> let's see. Oh yes, I I never I always thought when I was a kid these were actual people. But there's no like there's no way. Like this has to be fake, right? Because like this game is already shut down. <laughs> so but yeah, you can kinda see how people tend to design their bases. Like they gave like they give like lava tiles and stuff. Yeah, so Dinozoo is just this but downgraded. But Dinozoo has dinosaur battles. Like, there's nothing nothing you can do actually with the dinosaurs, so. So, I see. That's how people, these people do it. Right. Right, this is a pretty neat park. Right, I I'll give you, um, two stars. Not enough dinosaurs. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see. What? How does Kirini look? Right. Right, it's, it's really messed up, right? I always thought these were actual people when I was a kid. But no, like, I'm, I'm look I'm, I'm, I'm visiting, the, visiting this guy, like, ten years later. And this guy has exactly the same progress. And look at this, he doesn't even have a... This player never hashed their Di Diplodocus egg. Like, who doesn't hash their Diplodocus egg? Right, there's no way this is an actual person. Like... Either this person really hates the, the Diplodocuses. He never hatched his Dilophosaurus either, so... Yeah, that, that has to be, like, fake. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, visit... Visit another player. You sure that's another player and not just AI? <laughs> right. So, let's see. But how are we gonna do this? Right. Let's see. Any building decorations? Right. I want... Is there no, like, ro desert rocks? Great rock. We can have a great rock. Let's put a great rock like this. Right. You know, desert looks really weird. You know, I'm just gonna be honest. The desert looks pretty ugly because of all that green in the background. Like, all these huts, like, they have, like, this... It's surrounded by green. So it looks really off. Alright, let's move you up there. have you there. Right. I feel like it's just gonna be this is we'll just have to get every single dinosaur first and then we might we have to do something afterwards because I don't know what dinosaurs there are in this game. I need more keepers, right? Yeah, let's just get a billion keepers, right? Okay, for now, 
All right, grab all the keepers. We need all the keepers. All right. Grab this. All right. This is just gonna be a place where all the keepers are. For now, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna assign them to their habitats later, but... You know, as I say, it's like a real zoo. You just gotta go... Oh, I don't have enough coins? Well, sucks for me. I can just do this. Right. There we go. Right. And I always get the, the baby the Plodocus was born thing. Right. Hey, daily rewards. Nice. Right. <laughs> I do feel bad, kind of bad for saying, oh, yes, thank you for supporting the game. No, I'm just hacking and getting everything for free. But, like, I, I'd love to support the game. It's just that you just can't. The game is shut down, so. <laughs> uh, Desert animals are Deinonychus, Ampelo, Dalo, Mantonia, Diablo, Iguana, Tricera, Demetra, Alocol. What's an Alocol? Stego, Stegotaurus, Longus, Quaman, I think Compi and Comso. Right, uh, I mean, I don't think that- <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't think that's of much help right now, uh... Let's see, uh, dinosaurs. Allo, right? You said Allo was one? No, Allo call is one. Allosaurus isn't. Right, Stego. Right, let's get Stego. Let's put Stegosaurus right next to Triceratops. Right, where do I move this abomination of nature? Right. So let's have... Let's put aquatics up there. Right, we'll, we'll slowly... We'll slowly, like, get things going, right? Let's move our... Like, we'll move the plains dinosaurs up here. Right, water will be up there. Plains will be down here. Desert is gonna be here. Okay. Right, so let's get all the dinosaurs... Uh, how many dinosaurs are there, are there in this game? There's actually quite a decent amount. Right. <clears throat> now, I don't think you have to add anything to the wiki. I don't think anyone's gonna care. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I don't think anyone is gonna check. Right. So, let's see. Oh, Crystal Palace. That, that's a pretty cool thing. Right. Let's go ahead and let's expand. I need more keepers? Right. Right, come on. I'll just finish it now. I'll finish you now. I'll finish you. Right. Give me all those cavemen. Right. Right, Zuri. Okay, now that we got everyone. Okay. Expand everyone. Expand everything. Give me 1,500 of them. Right. <laughs> Again, with the, the baby Diplodocus, right. Right, let's grab you. Oh, hey, we unlocked the abomination of nature. Right. Ah, yes. Right, amazing! We unlocked Carnotaurus and th that weird insect thing. Right. Oh, we unlocked a, we unlocked a new dinosaur. We unlocked Chronosaurus. Huh. Beyond our expectation. Yes, it's really crazy what, what, what crazy stuff money can do. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough money? I spent a hundred bucks and I still don't know how to have enough? Right. Okay, stop with stop with the baby Diplodocus. Alright, I've seen enough baby Diplodocuses. Oh, we unlocked Brachiosaurus. So I guess every, every like every, like every land we unlock now is like considered like one level. How big can this map go? Oh, this the, the map itself isn't actually like like it, it isn't that big. Yeah, it, like... Oh, we got Shonisaurus Sukumimus. Yeah, you can't expand this. Oh, the, the map actually isn't that big. Right. We unlocked Ampelosaurus. Expand your land beyond our dream. Alright, hey, T-Rex. 
Right, 68 gems. Oh my god. Right. 71 gems. You wanted on Tapiara. Right. So, so I kind of do want to have this. I kind of want to have these nat trees. I want to keep them. Do that. Oh, I can't share on Facebook. I don't even have Facebook. Right. <laughs> I gotta find some way to get get that like demorphed on. Right. One million coins. Wow. Okay. Okay. Like we're gonna look at all these dinosaur designs, but like for the first we gotta do that. Right, expand. Oh, poster suit. Cause it. Oh wow, poster suit. Cause you look really weird. <laughs> expand or your land. More land. Yes! Beyond dino lines. Beyond the roar of duty. Diabloceratops and Helicoprion. That one, it looked super weird. Okay. Let's grab that. Lariosaurus and Longosquama. Oh, I don't have more coins. Jeez, okay. Stop zooming in always with the Diplodocus. Right. <laughs> Do that. Do that. And we unlock Titanictus and Edmontonia and Heliontonia. Right, and an Amber Booth. Alright. So, so, uh, Scaff, how, how far did you get in, in the game? I am pretty curious. Because, I mean, if you made an entire wiki, I'm assuming that you went pretty far. Okay. Baby Diplodocus is life. Yes. <laughs> Baby Diplodocus is love. Baby Diplodocus is life. Right. Kohui Terex. You know, I, I think Kohui Terex is probably is probably the coolest creature, I think. I think it's the coolest hybrid creature in the game. I think it looks super dope. It kind of look, you know, it kind of looks like those Magic the Gathering Sertopsians, if you think about it. Right. So we have still a bit of forest here. There we go. Right, uh, Ornithokyrus and Spinokyrus. I still find it super hilarious how they just somehow got Dinokyrus right. <laughs> like they probably were like, oh yes, there's no way a creature could look this goofy. <laughs> uh. Once again, Mother Nature, silly you. Oh, you finished the game? You got all the creatures? That is crazy. How how did you get all the creatures? Like, did you do it like legit? How long did it take? Right, there we go. So we've uh built like we got rid of a lot of the land except for like the ones that I actually want to keep. Like I want to keep this patch of forest, it looks nice. And this patch of forest because it looks nice. Okay. So, uh, we have this big open ground. That's the furthest I can zoom, unfortunately. Okay, so, let's see. We're gonna move you. Right, let's move the plains animals up there. It's kind of, this is kind of gonna be like the Jairus Bear Valley, right? So, right, let's keep it like this. Okay, and let's keep aquatic animals. Oh, we have a baby Dilophosuchus. Right. So how do we name a baby Dilophosuchus? It's 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 like it's like a lofo, but it's underwater, I guess. Right under the sea. Right, lay a Dilophodocus egg and hatch a Dilophodocus. Right. Only took a year and a that year and a half, really? You've been playing again for about a year. Oh, you so you you actually went back into the game. Like, do you, how do you unlock, how do you unlock the, uh, the Dimorphodon? I don't think you, you can. Right. 
Let's hatch our, uh, baby Dalo. Alright, let's put it there. Okay. So I think you are gonna go up here. Okay, let's grab water. Okay, let's let's take inspiration from the NPC villagers that we saw. Uh Let's do it like this. No, it's it's one off, right? I don't like it. Uh, decorations, right. How do we get... So we can We have water logs and we have, uh... Water lilies, too. Oh, okay. Damn, uh... So we, we can use water logs. We have water and we just have wood. But... Right, I kind of want to do it like this. Okay, now, now this looks really nice. Kind of like a bridge. Okay. So let's. What is? What are you? Oh, it's Stegosaurus. Okay. Look who came to visit. Get a Stegosaurus. Okay. So, do we have any desert decorations that look nice? Oh, uh, the Dimorph stopped being accessible around late 2020. God damn it! Now we. That's that's so stupid because now we have like one creature we'll never get. <laughs> It's like the one creature we will never get. Even with infinite resources. Ah. Uh. Right, so do we have any, any desert things that, that look like a desert? Like, there's gotta be something, right? Yeah, that, that's a desert, right? Pin cushion cactus. Yes, it that does look like a desert, okay. Right, that is desert stuff, right. Look at that, like, it, it, it blends super well in. I don't think anyone's gonna notice, All right. Uh, let's have a pin cushion here. But any others? What is a greeting cactus? You know, we should have a greeting cactus though. You know, no park entrance is, is complete without a greeting cactus. <laughs> right. So what do these decorations do in this game? I have no idea actually. Uh so, oh wait, we still need to get higher levels to get more creatures? Damn, okay. We still even aren't max level, okay. Let's see, so what is a creature you said? Uh, Empello, Diablo. Bro, right, let's get Empellosaurus. All right, baby Triceratops. Right. Sarah, why not? Yeah. Okay, baby Dalo. It's me, Lofo Lee. Right. Baby Lofo. Right. The decoration is just decoration. It doesn't do anything. Wow, okay. I mean, I thought it would, like, get revenue boosts, like Jurassic World the game, but I guess not, huh? Alright. So, uh, let's see. What is, the, what is bank? Okay. That's bank. Triceratops statue. Oh, I get it. It's a Triceratops statue, but it's Triceratops statue. Okay, I see. I never got the meme. I never got the joke, right? Skull cavern. That lo that looks like desert, right? That's desert decoration, right? That's gotta be desert. Get a room. Yeah, it does look kind of like a desert, right? That looks nice. Right, the stone looks weird, so we're gonna get rid of that. No, no, there are, there are pebble dinosaurs in this game, right? There's like pebble element. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but there's pebble element in this game. Right, so... Put that here.
So let's get floor tiles. Let's go grab dirt. Okay, and that's where desert. Is. I think the uh, the stuff is gonna end, right? So decorations. Uh, we have bronze pebbles. Yes. So that's what we want. So like the, the, the like the demorphodon, right? Pebble park. Okay. So let's move this like this. Kind of like like kind of like a greeting stone, right? So what is a pebble element dinosaur? Okay. Beach element? Rock? Rocky? Uh, how, what, 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 how do I call that? Right, I think Epidexipterix is a pebble run. Right, yes, it is. Right. Let's put you up here. Right, so now we have Epidexipterix. Right. Yes, my favorite element, pebble. <laughs> Details. Oh, I see. Hey, it has, like, fun facts. Uh, Epidexipterix. It had... Teeth only in the front of the jaws, with unusually front, long front like teeth angled forward. A rare feature. 0 0.30 meters. I'm surprised they never actually talk about, like, it being the early, the smallest dinosaur ever. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Oh, wait, you can feed these dinosaurs? I forgot. Yeah, that's something you can do. Right, we, we, we need to install a building though, right? Uh, let's see. You know, Scaff, you should, you, you should, you gotta post a part, to, uh, yeah, you gotta show the park in the Discord. I, I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna see your park. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I wanna see what an actual park, like, without hacks look like. So you said Tapiara was also a pebble, right? Right, let's get Tapiara. Uh, I want more pebble. Pebble is love, pebble is life. There we go. So, are there any like pebble esque trainer like pens? Uh. I guess the Golden Pantheon is kind of pebble, right? It is mineral. But damn, this thing is huge, right? Uh, let's see. I guess you you can be a desert. You can go up here. You know what I should do is I should I should focus on making the entrance a bit better, right? Let's put the Lophosaurus up here. Bro, trust me, I have a plan, right? Let's move you up there. Let's flip. And let's put you up here, right? It's, it's a 2 by 2 right? Let's put this. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab, go to the market, right? Maybe maybe we can get some swamp in the desert. I mean savanna swamp. Yeah, I think it fits. Right. We're gonna have like a puddle of ooze right next to the Dalo. Swampy animal, I guess. <laughs> I mean to be fair, like everyone thinks Dilophosaurus has lived in swamp because of Ark. But the the actual environment where Dilophosaurus lived was likely very arid. So let's my idea is to have it like this. Right, so this is the this this is where the Quetzal drops off people, right? So let's put the dirt road over here. Let's do it like this. You know, actually, you know, we, we shouldn't use dirt road. We should probably use golden roads or something like that. Move you up there. Right, there we go. Right, we, we, we gotta have two greeting cactuses too. 
You know, it only, wouldn't make sense to only have one, right? So let's move you. Like this. Okay, so how do we make the entrance? Bro, we're gonna have we gotta have like a good looking entrance, right? Uh fossil souvenirs, yes, souvenir shop would be great. Around the entrance. Right. We also need another greeting cactus. Where's the greeting cactus? Flip you around. There we go. Let's also grab... Floor tiles? Okay. What is golden? You know, let's get... Let's let's make a road of gold, right? No, luxury. You gotta have a bit of luxury when you enter Lofo's Dinosaur Park. Move you up here. Right, let's also put a bit of water in the front. Oh, we can have boiling lava. Uh, no thanks. Right. Let's grab water. I know we're gonna have some space open for the... Other ones, like... I know there's some other water blocks that we're gonna use it interchangeably to look make it look nicer. Do it like this. Right, okay, let's let's move this fuck house somewhere else. <laughs> ah, beautiful. The fuck house. <laughs> Oh, please, YouTube, don't demonetize me, please. Uh, okay, let's put the market. Decorations. Right, where are the water logs? Right. Put some water logs. Here. Water logs. Here. Here. Like this. And the rest are gonna be water lilies. There we go. Look how nice it looks. Right. Let's see. What else can we get? Oh, there's also a big flower we can use. There's also tall grass. You know, let's put some tall grass here. Right. Tall grass here. There we go. Hey, look at this! It's already looking really nice. All right. So what? What other dinosaurs do we want? Let's grab this. So that's the Ampelosaurus. All right. Like most sauropod, it would have a long neck and a tail, but also carry armor on its back, which is, I think, it's now outdated. It's that's no longer considered valid. I think. I think Impelosaurus was, like, less armored than people, like, used to think, apparently. It was, like, greatly exaggerated, apparently, so... Let's see, there aren't that many types of roads now that I'm looking at. I'm looking at the variety, and, like, there isn't really much. Get Terradostro for Pebble Road? Alright. Let's see... <laughs> you know, I feel like Pterodostro is gonna be my favorite, uh, like, creature in the entire game. Like, there is no way you cannot lo not, not love this guy. Like, how could you not love him? <laughs> uh, I, lo I love this guy 
so much? Like, how could you say no to a face like this? <laughs> Details, let's see. Told Russo will probably wait in shallow water like flamingos, straining food with his tooth comb. A method called filter feeding. Why does he sound like this? <laughs> right. Let's lay an egg. Because guess what? Even pe dinosaurs that look like this apparently can get laid. So... Good for him! Good for him! Right. Move you up here. Right. Okay, so what else do we need? Uh, let's get some more buildings. Right. So, uh, caveman painting? That, that looks desert. Looks like desert. Right, let's grab that up here. Right, more buildings. Ancient market. That that definitely sounds deserty, right? Let's put you up there. Okay. So wait, there were also trees, right? Let's grab some trees. Shrubs? Yeah, I don't think there's any trees in this game outside of that one tree. But we could get a carnivorous plant. But yeah, it's either gonna be uh, that Jinko saplings or seed of Jinko, right? We'll probably need more than those. Alright, let's get two of these. Let's grab some tall grass. Put it like this. Yep, just as a little backdrop for that hut. There we go, looks very nice. Okay, so how many other dinosaurs are do we have? So let's finish this. Uh, let's finish this. We got a jack of all trades. Okay. Right. So, uh, it kind of hides the road. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's just go ahead. Let me just get the road. Then let's finish this. So, I wish I could just copy stuff instead of having to buy them separately. But I guess that's just a problem that I'm only the only one who probably has these problems. So let's do it like this. You this okay there we go okay desert desert's already looking pretty fine uh stone is kind of getting there right what other dinosaur is stone uh what is carnotaurus oh you're lava right where do i put lava i don't know uh okay we might get more aquatic animals here let's grab chronosaurus And where do we get regular roads? All right, water lilies, golden. Hello, wow, I got hit by nostalgia. Exactly. That is why we're here. Right, you know what? Let's get let's grab flowers, maybe? Couple flowers near here. Just so that people don't get stuck in front of the dinosaurs. All right. Nostalgia indeed. Right, where do we get? Let's also grab, uh, wood. Okay, so I want a regular road. Is there no regular roads? Got logs. I guess logs, we could, we could use water logs, I suppose. But if I spam them, they're gonna look so weird. Right? Like, that looks so weird. Well, maybe it doesn't. I mean, if it's just, like, one road, I guess, it, it kind of looks nice. Right. Like, sometimes NPCs get stuck like that Tipsilophodon, so... Okay, so let's grab another aquatic animal. 
Let's say, I think, yeah, don't Cleosteus. I need more keepers? Right. Well, let's just finish that. All right, Chronosaurus is here. And let's grab Don Cleosteus. The great Dunkle Uncle. Yeah. Wait, do these guys also lay eggs? Oh my god, Chronosaurus lays an egg? That is so weird. <laughs> Why do you lay an egg? Uh, I thought I thought you guys were supposed to give live birth. It was le it was named after the leader of the Greek Titan, Cronus. Wait, was Cronus spelt with a C? I always thought it was, I thought it was always spelt with a K. Am I going crazy? I think it might I might be going crazy. Right. Uh, let's see. So what else do we have? Right. I think the hatchery egg is kind of deserty, so let's put you up there as well. Okay, decorations, let's grab more dirt. There we go. Damn, desert, desert's getting to be looking really nice right now. So where do I put this? I think Egg Hut could go in here. Alright, let's do it that. Let's give it a little water at the front. I think that's gonna look nice. It, yeah, it starts with a K, right? I, I'm not insane, right? Oh god, I, I love the Pterodostro. <laughs> it's probably gonna be my favorite dino. Alright, we got Tapiara. Right, Tapiara had a huge head crest, which was probably brightly colored to attract mates. So it's a piscivore, very interesting, because now we know it was it actually ate fruits, not not fish. But like, who would have thought, like, a, a, a pterosaurs being like a pisc, uh, being piscivores was usually the norm. Turns out, like, not everyone was like that. Who could have guessed? But you in there? Alright, let's grab more floor tiles. Pebbles. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now where do I move this? Right, let's spread some of these houses out. They look very clustery. We can build around them. Alright, let's put you up here. And let's move you as well. You can be in this corner. You can be over here. And you go over here. No, you, you know what? You can live right next to him. Right next to this guy. Right, you guys are roommates. Right. There we go. Yeah, oh, Tapiara, like, I think Tapiara's, Tapiara's eight fruits. I think. Because I'm pretty sure the Tupendaclas was known to eat fruits. I think Tapiara, Tapiara and its relatives usually f preferred fruit over fish, I think. Although with Tapiara itself, I might be wrong. I know that Tupendaclas ate fruit. So you might be right. Uh, I might be wrong. Not so sure. Right. Let's grab you. Right, let's we need more water. Right. 
We need more water. I think the water block is probably my favorite block here. It's it's the one that looks the nicest. Just gonna remember to replace some of them with uh the ones the with the with, with the log ones or the what well, what was it the, those ones these. These stupid, uh, water lilies. Yeah, you gotta replace some of them with these. Elsewise, they, it doesn't look as nice. Oh, shit, the game just shut down. <laughs> game just crashed. I am actually not so sure why paleontologists came to the conclusion they ate fruits. I'm going to be honest. I think it might be something else. Like, I think it might have been something about, like, uh, isotopes and stuff. Like, kind of how we knew, how we figured out about Spinosaurus eating fish. By analyzing their teeth. But I'm not so sure how they did it with the Tapiara since they didn't have teeth. They got their beaks. Honestly, good point. I don't actually know how they did that. <laughs> how did they do that? Okay, let's do that. Let's grab water lilies. One of here. Let's put some grass. Like, because there aren't that many, like, decoration for roads. Like, it's usually one or the other. And tall grass looks pretty decent. Tall grass, water. Those can be combined to make some decent looking decoration. Right. Grab wood for the chronosaur. Right. No, that's not a chronosaur. That's a shoney sword. Right. Have it like this. Where is the Triceratops statue? Let's grab Triceratops statue. Alright, there we go. Right. Statues galore. So yes, my end goal for this uh for this gameplay is to make a make a decent looking base that has not base or a park, I'd say. That has that you that has every dinosaur and every decoration. That is essentially my plan. Relive my childhood. And do the one thing childhood Lofo has always dreamed of doing. <laughs> AKA finishing the goddamn park. Got tall grass again. Tall grass is just the best. Okay, let's hatch you. 29k. Alright, let's build a nest. Lay an egg. Alright, you know, we really gotta start hatching the dinosaurs according to like how how they do that. Whatchamacallit, how they unlock, right? So we still need to unlock Velociraptor, right? Let's do this first. Right? We should stop unlocking every single dinosaur in a random order, right? 
grab Velociraptor. Where do I put it? I think we're going to put it like over here, maybe. Yeah, I think over here might be nice. It could have been a fruit eater using his short, deep jaws to pluck and crush the fruits. Yeah, we don't have the animals of resistance, resistance so it's speculative. Yeah. Oh. I, I can barely see the Velociraptor. Maybe I should replace that with the Epid Excepterix because this guy climbs on the tree. I think, yeah, you know what? This looks much better. You can you can just make it out of the tree line. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, what what's the next dinosaur that we have? Diplocolis, right? Oh wow! Di why the hell does Diplocolis ha have a? Why does the Diplocolis have a bigger pen than the Shonisaurus? <laughs> what kind of logic is that? Is it favoritism or what? Let's put it right next to Dumb Cleosteus. Uh, did did the Dumb Cleosteus and Diplocala share the same? Did they live in the same period? I know Dumb Cleosteus was Devon. I don't know, was Diplocolus Carboniferous? Or are you also Devon? Oh no, you're Permian, stupid me. Jesus, Lofo, right. That looks good enough, I'd say. Let's get wood. There we go. Wow, the, that's a big ass di di Diplocolis, man. <laughs> right. So now we have that. What's the next dino? Inostrancevia. Right, you are plain. Uh, planes dinosaurs go all the way up here. Right, Innostrancevia. Get Diplocolis and get an Innostrancevia. Right. So let's read these quests. Right, nurturing home. I love seeing new life. Hatch any five dino babies. Simple collect. That's far fetched. Get a Velociraptor Triceratops and a Triceraptor. Okay, you gotta love how they how their icon already looks mutated as hell. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's like screaming in agony. <laughs> right, uh let's see. Uh so what what paths are best for like plant dinos? Flowers, I guess? Or go a golden is way to luxury. Maybe bronze. You could use bronze or uh I think bronze might look the best. Do it like this, right? And we could we could use these uh flowers as like you know as just regular flower patches as decoration, kind of like water. Okay, so I think we're gonna place something in here. Is there any any aquatic buildings that look like they might belong in the water? Oh, wishing well. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, we need one more keeper. All right. Oh, lake house. There it is. Beautiful. That's exactly what I was looking for. But that's not big enough. All right. Let's flip you over. Put you here. There we go. All right, build a hut for Santa. Okay, where is wood? 
There we go, make it look nice. Yeah, I, I mean, we have the Triceratops statue here. So... Okay, now that we have that, we're gonna make a wishing well. There we go. We don't need two of them. Right. Okay, there we go. Alright, aquatic habitat is starting to look really nice. Right, we even got that. A wishing well. Hell yeah. Okay. Right, I, I'm, I think this park is gonna, is gonna look better than any, any one of these NPC parks we've seen. <laughs> right, with the power of infinite wealth, we're gonna make truly the most beautiful park in existence. Uh, let's see. Carithosaurus, what are you? You're also a planes type. Okay. You're, it's a planes walker. Right, uh, let's put you here. Okay. So let's grab some tall grass up here. Okay, decorations. Let's get some, uh, water. Oh, swamp might look nice, too. Bronze? That crest looks unusual for a Caritho. Yeah, you know, you do have a point. That doesn't really look like a Caritho's crest. I think it kind of looks like one of those Lambiosaurs, not gonna lie. Yeah, it does look like a Lambiosaur. Okay, let's get a Thalassodromios. I do remember the th uh, for some reason these people saying that the Lassodromius were good, supposed to be good like uh, what was it, like meditation animals for some reason. I don't know why they arrived in that conclusion, but yeah, apparently in this game, the Lassodromius are good for psychological things. I think right. Need more keepers? Yeah, I need a golden pantheon. Right. Jeez. Okay. I think you are gonna go up there with lava. Right. We're gonna stop building our lava exhibit here. Right next to the Golden Pantheon, right. I think it's gonna look the best, uh, right. It looks like a Sintal. Could be. Right, let's hatch the Tardos Reg. Okay, let's see, I can't, what, what abominations of nature can we create? Oh, yes, we can crossbreed uh, Triceratops and Velociraptor, right. Okay, tri let's make Triceraptor. While that's going on. Uh, let's get our Allosaurus. Not now, seriously? How many more keepers do I have? Okay. There we go. Let's, let me just get the Thalassodromios. Right, funny guy. I like the Thalassodromios. Feeling depressive? No problem, just see a Thalassodromius. <laughs> you know, this is that is one thing that I was curious about in this game. Because always when I was a kid, right? I, I was I'm pretty sure Epidendrosaurus and Epidexipterix are the same creature. I could be wrong though. But I think Epidendrosaurus and Epidexipterix are the same creature. Hold on, let me just look that up. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh Because I think Epidexipteryx was supposed to have... You no, know, Epidendrosaurus is identical to Scansiopteryx. 
It is synonymous with is it's cinnamon with uh, Epidendrosaurus nichigensis. Okay, hold up. Let me just show it to you guys. Yes. Yes. So Epidendrosaurus is identical to Scansiopteryx. <clears throat> and it's it, it shares the same name with Epidendrosaurus. But it's I think it's only one species of Ep Epidendrosaurus. I think it's not the type specimen of Ep Epidendrosaurus, I think. Yes, okay, Epidendrosaurus, yes. It is related. They are related though. Okay. Right. Your model was tweaking and shaking for a second. Oh, that happens. That happens every now and then. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, I don't know. What's the opposite of Raptor Jesus? <laughs> What's the opposite of a Raptor Jesus? I guess like, it's, it's Compy Satan, I guess, taking over my body. Right, uh, let's see. Let's grab our next... Uh, is there any others that we have related to stones? Monkey Parlor. That might look nice. Ancient Market, we got that. Amber Shrine, I guess. I mean, that kind of looks stony, right? Looks stony enough. Right. Good luck, Charm. And you can live up there. Right. Okay, what's the next dinosaur? Hobosaurus. Okay, God damn it. I don't want to, I don't want to really want to. Okay, there we go. Just build the next nest. And lay the egg. Right, hatchery slot. Yes, might as well. Oh, treasure hunt. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Oh, I need to invite Facebook friends? God damn it. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, that's a shame. You know, I still remember back in the day, like, mobile games plus Facebook? That was crazy. Like, everyone was playing, like, mobile games on Facebook. But no one even uses Facebook anymore. Like, that's a relic of the past. Okay, let's go ahead, grab some pebbles. No, 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 what was I talking about? Yeah, right, water. It's water. Get wood. Flip it over. Look at that! So we, I think, so let's, let's try to connect the water section with the pebble section, right? So what other dinosaur, what other pebble dinosaurs do we have? Is Nyctosaurus also a pebble? It is a pebble, right? And my biggest, like, my biggest concerns is like, how do we combine these animals? Oh! KG121, thank you for the subscription! Greatly appreciate it, buddy! Welcome to the club. Right, so now that we have Nyctosaurus, we have all three pterosaurs and, and that weird goofy ball. But uh, Okay, so we just need to connect this with this. Right. 
We'll see what we can do. But the so how's stuff going on in the fuck cave? Right. So we have Triceraptor. The planeswalker creature. Put it right next to Diplo. Right there we have it. Triceraptor. Wait, are there details? Paleolithic. <laughs> Uh, Omnivore. Okay. Loves to play fetch with his keepers. Right. I don't know how Triceraptor gets, gets like, two extra horns. I don't know where those two extra horns came from. Right. The weird creature. Right. So, we need more pebbles. No, you know what? We should also get some swamp stuff. Let's get some swamp stuff around here, up there. I think it's important to give the dinosaurs like an extra bit of extra space like these water tiles here and the swamp tile. I think that's that's what makes it a healthy exhibit. Right now, like everything is crammed together. Oh, I can breed Dilophosaurus with Thalassodromius? What? That's something you can do? Uh, okay. Make Thalassosaurus. Okay, what the hell is that thing? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, we do have to... Sp do something here. Uh, everything is too cramped. Let's move Pteranodon a bit up here. Ooh, yeah, we do have big flower. There we go. You got some flowers here. Okay, so there's that thing connected. You know what? No, there's also these pterosaur statues, right? I think all pterosaurs are in this game are, if I sh if I remember correct, they are all uh, pebble. Stone monkey? You know that that looks kind of nice. Let's put a, let's have a stone monkey here. Stone monkey. We all need a stone monkey in our lives. Right. It even comes with a fluttering pterosaur. Uh, let's see, decorations. Where is our pterosaur? Go, have a pterosaur statue here. Let's build your nest. Lay your egg. Hatch it. Right, baby Diplocolis! What should I name you? I don't know, uh... I- I suck at names, uh... I have no idea. I'm- I'm just gonna name you Scuba. Right. How do you spell Scuba? Scuba, I think, is- No, no. You spell it with a C, right. Scuba, there we go. Random ass arc reference. Uh, hatch any five dino babies. Uh, the path placing reminds me of Wildlife Park 2. What What is Wildlife Park 2? I have no idea what that is. Is that another dinosaur game that I've never heard about? Okay, Allosaurus. It's another planes type. Oh, we have loads of plane times, planes types in this game. Alright, get Allosaurus! Amazingly different. Get it? Because it's a di it means different lizard? Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, four tiles. Wait, hold up! We also have rock! We also have rock tiles! I feel like they look... Also really nice with the with the mountain type dinos. I mean we should have used these both of these interchangeably. Instead of just filling it up with just pebble. Now it just looks awkward. All 
Alright, what other buildings do we have? Merchandise shop. Now that looks that's definitely a more of a forest type. Alright, what is a good building for a plains type? I mean for one coin kiosk. Okay. Put that in there. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. There's like a little Obi Raptor that jumps out of it. That's so cute. I was, I, was, I was wondering what these odd eyes were. Oh, it's a baby Daniel. That's so cute. All right. So what else? What else do we have? Sukumimus. There is a lot of water types, actually. No, Sukumimus need probably will need its own area, probably most likely. Right, let's put you up there. All right, Sukumimus. Take a look at you. The name Zukumimus means Crocodile Mimic because of its... Yeah. Okay, let's speed up you. What was that? Okay, so what are you? I don't actually know what this thing is. It's a Hobosaurus. It resembled a slender lizard and had a very long tail. You know what? Even as a kid, I really hate when games say stuff like this. Resembled a slender lizard and had a very long tail. Like, it's such an ambiguous, like, it's such an ambiguous, uh, description. Like, like, you could, re like, replace Hobosaurus with literally anything else, and it would still make sense. Uh, Xylophysis resembled a slender lizard and had a very long tail. Uh, friggin', uh, Velociraptor resembled a slender lizard. Now, that would be Jurassic Park, though. <laughs> but, you, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, you could re replace the Hobosaurus with anything else. And it would usually make some sense. So it's an insectivore. It's an aquatic animal that's an insectivore? Like, is it related to Placidus? I think it might be. Okay, what the hell is a Hobosaurus? Okay, Carnotaurus. There it is, our first lava creature. Alright, up you go. First. Yeah, Carnotaurus. With very suspiciously long forelimbs. Alright. See, Brachiosaurus. Oh, why the hell is the Brachiosaurus exhibit so tiny? <laughs> What? It is so tiny! Okay. It was wrongly declared the largest known dinosaur. Well, I don't think it, you'd say it was wrongly declared. That kind of implies that scientists knew that it wasn't the largest dinosaur, yet they still said that. No, like, back then they said it was the biggest dinosaur. Like, like... Now that I think about it, that description is just bullshit. What do you mean scientists wrongly declared Brachiosaurus the largest known dinosaur? I'm pretty sure they didn't mean it deliberately. But like the way that the way it's uh, the way it's implied, it's kind of implied that paleontologists knew what they were doing when they were like. Oh yes, today I'm gonna be goofy and I'm gonna call the Brachiosaurus the largest known dinosaur. No, it was because back then they thought it was the biggest one because they really thought they couldn't get any bigger until we found like shit like Memenchisaurus and stuff. <laughs> like who would have known? Right, Archaeopteryx. Oh, you're also stone type. Okay. Get some swamp. For our Archaeopteryx exhibit, we're, I think we're gonna surround it with a swamp. 
Why? I think it just looks cool. I, th I think Swamp is a very versatile thing. Looks nice in any habitat. Can't really say no to that. Especially considering that it's, it's, there really aren't that many type of roads in this game. We just gotta be creative. Okay. Rock. Okay, so what else? Uh, buildings. All right, structures? Okay, wildcat. What's wildcat? Restaurant. Right, let's have a restaurant then. Alright, restaurant. Feed your dinosaurs by tapping them when they're hungry. Feed them what they ask. Small chance to win gems. Okay. First supper. Okay, so how do I know if a dinosaur is hungry? No idea. Alright, let's hatch your egg. Alright, baby... Terra. Right. Gotta name it Terry. Right. Very generic ass name, I know. It's just that I just can't make any better names. <laughs> right. If you guys have any better names, put them down, right? Because I honestly don't know. Right. I'm probably gonna give like the most generic ass names you could e probably think of. Uh, let's get, you know, we can, let's get Spinosaurus. Hell yeah. Uh, and I think we're gonna actually gonna put Spinosaurus more closer to the water ones. Put it like this. So, I, I'm assuming, like, so... Okay, so I think we should be able to fill this area with plains dinosaurs all the way down here. Right, it, it's coming together. It's all coming together. Right. Some tall grass for this. Wooden log for this. There we go. All right. Uh, this is a park that, like, preschool Lofo could only dream of. Well, to be fair, I mean, back back when I was in preschool, this game even wasn't even a thing. But right. So we have Talosaurus, Postosuchus, Helicopion. Right. Where are all my keepers? Where did all they go? Where is everyone? Oh, there's a, they're all busy making this Archaeopteryx, but... See, Ar... Like, I don't know, this is a pretty weird-looking Archaeopteryx. Uh, like, I guess it's kind of blue? I guess, who would have known? But, like, it doesn't have a sickle claw, and, like, what the hell is up with its, like, wing, wing feathers positioning? It's so weird. Okay, let's see. Let's hatchery. Alright, let's hatch our Chronosaurus. I'm gonna name you Chronos. Right. Get a Chronosaurus, lay an egg, and hatch her baby. <laughs> Such a weird ass sentence. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have the Chronosaurus lay an egg. It's like the equivalent of let's let's hatch a lion egg. 
Like, what is this? Roblox Pet Simulator? Well, look how goofy they look. Like father, like son. Okay, so what is the next? Lasmosaurs. There it is, our Elasmosaurus. Okay, water logs. Give me that. Uh, Elasmosaurus had more vertebra than any known dino. Well, that isn't speaking much considering Elasmosaurus isn't exactly an animal. Like, what do you mean by dino, okay? Like, it's not a dinosaur. Like, I guess he means like prehistoric creature, right? <laughs> I mean, if, if Lofa, if he didn't have the knowledge of paleontology, Chrono Lane Egg wouldn't be outlandish. I mean, yes, but this is supposed to be a dinosaur game that is marketed as educational, you know? <laughs> I feel like there should be at least some statement saying that, oh yes, it, it technically isn't an egg. May you should have just said it's like pregnant or something. <laughs> I don't know, like... But like, I know even like some re like reptiles like nowadays, even they lay eggs, right? I'm pretty sure snakes lay eggs. Uh, they lay babies, right? Like, do snakes lay live birth, or do they, like, lay eggs? I'm pretty sure they, like, give, like, give live birth, right? The majority of them. I know there's a couple that lay eggs, but, like, the majority. Okay, what's our next dinosaur? It's the T-Rex! Ah, uh, we have a T-Rex! Oh, I mean, we gotta give it its own exhibition, right? Elsewise, all the T-Rex fanboys are gonna be upset that I'm gonna make... Get him give Spinosaurus its own big thing, but nothing for the T-Rex. Alright, I've heard your whinings! Alright, here you go. I'm probably gonna have... give you something special. Oh, look at that. It even has these effects where these birds fly away. Like, I'm telling you, I don't need to give the T-Rex special treatment. The game already gives T-Rex its own special treatment. <laughs> Educational, when you can literally make a hybrid of duck and, uh, Duncan and Pterodos, bro. I mean... I'm pretty sure the game would be labeled as, like, more educational because, like, they have their whole section where they, like, give info and show all these details, so... I mean, there's gotta be something in the marketing talking about the game being educational. Because that's what all the, like, that's what all the dinosaur stuff do happen. They all say it's educational. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, yes, TikTok is educational. It's just, it's teaching the kids the wrong shit. <laughs> I mean, it teaches them that internet don't trust everything on the internet, I guess. Alright, there we have it. Spinosaurus. Alright. I feel like, like, how many more water stuff is there? Like, I feel like it's, it's kind of getting very clogged up here. <laughs> right, Iguanodon. Oh, it's a desert type. Okay. I, I thought we already had... I think that I thought that was all the desert types, but no, there's more. Great. You there? Oh, 
put a bit of water up here. Put the it on to drink. I mean, to be fair, like, I think all game dinosaur games are at least somewhat marked as educational. I'm pretty sure they are. Like, I mean, that that's something that happens with South Korea a lot. Like, most dinosaur-related things are, like, always, they're marketed as educational. I mean, heck, they say that Schleich are supposed to be educational models. And that's what they say in South Korea. I don't think... Sh I don't think Schleich has ever, like, said that they're educational. Or any other country. It's just South Korea. I mean, it makes sense, because I think I've heard about it somewhere, because... South Korea is a country where a lot of the people are so, so, so stressed about education. Like, Schle like companies tend to change their marketing tactics just for South Korea to make it seem like things are more educational than what they actually are. Like, I've heard about that somewhere. I mean, it is just, you know, adjusting itself to the target audience, if you think about it that way. But can't help but feel like it's slightly scummy, especially for Schleich dinosaurs, because I'd say they're pretty far from educational, I'd say. <laughs> Something that dinosaurs will just have to live with for the rest of our time. How many more do we have? Oh, we're almost done. I don't know how to level up, how to get these dinosaurs. I mean, we're getting everything we can. Right, Tenderstrophius? <laughs> Y'all in South Korea is really weird with dinos, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's true. I can't even blame you guys. I mean, South Korea makes freaking dino mech heart and shit, right? Like, I, like, I think, I, I mean, like, it, it's so sad because South Korea is treated like the... It's, it's treated like a joke among dinosaur fans and... Even as a South Korean, I, I I just gotta say, yes, they are being treated as a joke. <laughs> it's just a shame. Like, I want them to be taken more seriously, but... Like, if everything that you keep putting out is freaking Dino Mechard and, like, Journey to Fire Mountain... Like, no wonder you guys are treated like a joke. And, like, let's don't... Like, I still haven't even talked about the freaking, like, Power Rangers knockoff, like... Called, like, Armored Source. I think the only reason I still haven't, like, reviewed Amasaurus on our channel is because, like, it's only for South Korean Netflix. And because, unlike Dino Mechar, they never release their episodes on, uh, in South Korea, uh, on YouTube. So, literally no one knows that the series exists outside of, like, a very niche audience. Which is crazy because, like, Amasaurus was this huge thing that, in, for, in South Korea, that came after Dino Mechar, so... <laughs> Obviously, I didn't have much of an inter interest in it because, like, first, like, there weren't that many dinosaur species. Because it was a knockoff of freaking Power Rangers, and they had, like, Quilliam. Like, yeah, they, they had Quilliam, of all things. Uh, they had Quilliam, like, Pteranodon, like, Trike, and T-Rex, I think, and that's it. <laughs> Lofo, you can't be talking about scumminess. What do you mean? I'm not scummy. I'm on the only reason I'm hacking this is because there's no other way I can like There's no way to me to play this game otherwise Right So how is our stuff going in the fuck cave right? Oh, it's it. What the hell is this? Okay, you are aquatic, but it's also a tree? So where do I- where do you- where does this thing go? Do you go up here or down here? You know, I could just put you over here. The best of both worlds. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Bro, what is that thing? It's a Thalassosaurus? Isn't that an- isn't that like an actual creature? Am I crazy or I, I'm pretty sure Thalassosaurus is a thing that exists? No, it's a Thalatosaurus. Thalatosaurus exists. Thalassosaurus doesn't. Okay. Yeah, okay.
So we have Postasukus. Why is Postasukus a Plains type? I, w I thought it was it, it was like uh, I thought it was like Desert type. Nope, it's Plains. Okay, let's build our nest for our Corinthosaur. Lay the egg. Hatch the egg. Corintho. I, I, can't, I do find it silly how the baby Corinthosaurus has a huge crest. Considering it is like the one thing that we know that's like baby Hattersaurus didn't have. Okay, Quetzal Quatlas. What type is Qu Quetzal Quatlas? Is also, also planes type. You know, I can't. You know, I can't argue with that. All right, Quetzal. Okay. So wait, if that's a Quetzal, then what's this guy? You know, the the guy that lands here. I thought that was a Quetzal. Yeah, that thing. What are what are you then? I thought you were a Quetzal. Okay, the dinosaurs. Diablo Ceratops. Oh, you are desert. Okay. So there are more deserts. Yeah, too bad you won't be able to have you won't be able to have the Dimorphodon. Yeah. Dimorphodon is like the one creature I don't have access to. So annoying. While you're being nitpicky, didn't this game release in 2015? Yes, it is true. It is true that this game released in 2015. But still, you know. <laughs> I'll, I, I, I gotta say what I gotta say. Because just call it an Haz or Ar Arumbo Genie. I guess it, you could just call it an Arumbo Genie, huh? Okay, do 50 full coin collects. Okay, let's, let's get that baby Velociraptor. All right, baby Velociraptor, I shall call you Liam, because you don't have quills. All right, superstar dino, hatch any ten dino babies. Okay, right. So, oh wow, there's a lot of things we can do now. Uh, Don Cleosteus and Pterodostro. Yes. I think with that we, we we make we can make the cursed Dunkleodostro. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dunkleodostro is gonna be like the silliest thing ever. Right, Helicoprion, Lariosaurus. There are so many aquatic animals in this game. Like, holy crap! Alright, there we go. Water logs. No, let's put Haley Carpion over here. Okay, damn, look how many dinosaurs we have. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. Dinosaurs, uh, let's get Longus Guama. Oh, you are desert type too. Okay. There are a lot of desert types, huh? 
There's more than I thought. And that's a huge longer squama. Holy crap. Longosquama. Longosquama is a notable for a number of long structures that appear to grow from its skin. Yes, we can see that. <laughs> God, I I hate it when people do that. Like this, I think this is I can I think the, the, okay, Captain Dino. I think that is warranted. Okay. Right. I think I think that should be our thing. Right. Like you should stop. Like the game maker should stop. Like putting in like obvious information in there. I think that that's not an issue because the game is old. Like that's just that's just an issue because it is an issue. <laughs> like even as a kid, like yes, we can read. We have eyes too, you know. Okay, Montonia. Oh, also a desert type. Okay. Oh, it's the, the game just suddenly starts giving me a shit ton of desert type. All right. There we go, Edmontonia. Kuhula Ceratops. Oh, you're lava? It's still not so sure how to go over with the lava exhibit. So I think there's like hardened lava and there's like a uh, liquid lava, right? Okay, there we go. Right, having bu bubbling, boiling lava right in front of your house. There's no way that could possibly go wrong, right? So I don't know what, what, what can I use crystal for? I guess they could just be decoration roads, I suppose. There you go. Helicarpion can have one. <laughs> The Diplocana hybrid is also a desert? Oh, okay, we'll be doing that. Right. Let's make a new slate, slot, and a range of dates. Right, let's grab... Oh, we can we make... No, we can't make uh, Dinochirus yet. Where is Alicolus? There he is, Alicolus. There we go. That is so weird, though. Diplocolus is water. Allosaurus is... Planes, but the result is a desert? That math does not add up. Right. Concavenator is also a water type? Why are you of all things a water type? Okay, I'm just I'm just confused. There's so many water types in this game. <laughs> did Concavenator did Concavenator eat fish? Is there a reason? Two extremely tall vertebrae in front of his hips, followed a tall but narrow and pointed crest on the dinosaur's back. Okay. I mean, this cat, this is probably gonna be where water and like pebble is gonna meet. We're gonna have it like this. And we're still gonna have, have this area with water. What's this ancient game lost this time? It's Dino Pets. It's a very old dinosaur mobile game. Where you essentially make a dinosaur park. I think that the dinosaurs have some really cute designs. So that's why we're playing it. 
Plus, I'm pretty sure, like, everyone who grew up in the 2010s, they probably played this game. <laughs> like, it was this game or Dinozo or the Jurassic World games. I think, is it just me or it, like, when it comes to Dinosaur Mobile games, right? You had, everyone has probably played their share of Dino Hunter Deadly Shows, Jurassic World the game, and Dino Pets and Dino Zoo. Like, I think those are, like, the main games that everyone played. Truly growing up in the 2000, 2010s moment right there. So, any other buildings? Brother, if I draw your fan art to your liking, will you release it as a good product? What do you mean to release as a good product? Wild care. Res rescue stray dinosaurs. Oh, that's cute. Before uh, on the older Dino channel. Wait, did I did I did I play this on my older channel? Right, wild care. Re rescue stray dinosaurs by tapping them. Wait, are all these dinosaurs that we saw running around were they all wild care dinos? I thought those were just NPCs, like these guys. Oh, what? Those? Okay, you can, you can get these. Okay. Right. So what's next? Let's grab Order the Kyrus. I think. Are you also water type? Oh my God! You are also a water type. This game has way too many water types. <laughs> there we go. Ornithokyrus. Well, I didn't expect this game to have this many. Right. So we still... We can get two more dinosaurs. Let's get Lariasaurus. You're also a water type? Oh my god, like, how do I balance this? You did play in this on the other channel. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm 21, okay? In dinosaur years, I'm pretty clearly an old man. I can't believe I, I like I, I I know I've played it when I was a kid, but I didn't expect that I actually made videos on this game. I did? I've no idea. All right, we need to be level twenty-five. But let's get Titan and Nyctis, which is another water type. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Where do I put you? There you go. Titanic this. Let's flip you over. Oh, it's another wild dino. You as well. Okay, buildings. Right, vegetable cart. I don't think we need vegetable cart in the middle of areas where there's a bunch of Biscuitors. I guess we can put a vegetable cart right here. I don't know why you would need a vegetable cart though. Like, yes, I'm gonna visit the dino zoo to shop for my vegetables. <laughs> I mean, that is a pretty cool excuse to go look for go, go look at dinosaurs, I guess. I also just realized. Wait, hold up. Is is this is this a Magic the Gathering reference? Like Black Lotus. I feel like it might be the case. <laughs> Face sculpture. Grab this. Put you up here. Right, face off. Okay, dinosaurs. Oh wow, and we there's still more dinos, so I guess the only way we can I think we gotta start crossbreeding now. Oh 
Oh, feeding time! Okay. Oh, it wants sausages. Okay. Sausages? Ribs? 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 Where's ribs? Where's ribs? Oh, there you are. There it is! There it is! Ah, oh, god damn it! No! Can't believe I didn't feed him ribs. Right. No, Velociraptor Karen's gonna be upset as well. Yeah, we don't have any other dinos. So, yeah, we gotta start crossbreeding. Alright. Let's get you! It's another water type. Alright, let's put this abomination of nature here. Discover a Dunkleodostro. <laughs> like, what is this? Right? Like, tell- look at this thing and- like, come on. Like, this is something straight out of- what What was the thing it called again? Uh, like, all, all, all Tomorrows, I think? Something straight out of All Tomorrows. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a Q made something like this. <laughs> Dunkleodostro brings a sense of unlim unlimited happiness to us. Yes, we, it brings a happiness to us, but have you ever considered how this thing might have, might be feeling? <laughs> oh my god, like, what is this? Freaking Dunkleodostro. Like, how does this thing work? How does this thing swim? How does it eat? <laughs> because Dunkleosteus doesn't have teeth, it's got these bony plates. And Pterodostro has these, like, comb things, so how would a hybrid between those look like? <laughs> Right, water logs. Do it like this. All tomorrows? Yes. <laughs> when you think about it, does this mean this thing evolved from a human? Like, I wouldn't be- like, what I'm saying is that I wouldn't be surprised if this was a part of all tomorrows. With how weird it looks. I'm not saying that it evolved from a human, but it looks like a creature that did. <laughs> I feel like you- you might be mis- mistaking me for there. The Larry is inaccurate as hell. The Brewers flood for a prize. Larry doesn't have that. Yeah, I think that is an old depiction. I think you are right though. I think back in the old days, Lariosaurus, I think we thought like it had like front flippers and like hind legs, I think. Ma, okay, this game actually takes a while, huh? I, I thought we'd be done by now, but no, there's still more to go. Right. I think we might actually need a second stream for this. It is almost 1am, and I need to sleep for tomorrow. Right, oh, but we can make Dana Kyrus, so let's make Dana Kyrus, though. Right, let's also make Alicolis. Yeah, let's take our time, right? I feel like if we don't take our time, we're just gonna rush the park and just make it look ugly. Alright, so I think it is good time for us to... I think we might end it soon. All right. Okay, okay, so... Okay, so I don't get this, right? Why the hell do we need three cavemen there? All right, how do... Why do we need three people that help us breed the create the spinal carers. What do the three people do? <laughs> they just stand there and watch? 
<laughs> As the Spinosaurus and Ornithokyrus get their deeds done. Like, I, 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 oh, oh, okay, guys, I don't even imagine how that's gonna look. Right. That's some DeviantArt shit right there. Uh, but I think we are gonna put Deinokyrus right here. Alright. There it is! Deinokyrus! Hey, and there it is! We unlock more creatures. Nice. The Deinokyrus before Deinokyrus was a thing. <laughs> they give them pills. <laughs> a quirky and friendly creature that tries its best to make you smile. I don't know. <laughs> it's a funny little guy. Hold up. Is this a Gangnam Style reference? I think it might be. <laughs> who who talks about Gangnam Style in 2023? Jesus Christ. Probably me, considering I talk about things that are millions of years old, but still. <laughs> I feel like that's even- that's even stretching it too far. Let's catch that Gallimimus. So, I think humans and dinosaurs, for now, that is going to be eat. Uh, that, that- yeah, that's going to be it. Yes, why do I say that's going to be eat, right? I'm not eating anything, I'm going to bed. <laughs> right, uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, let's finish that now. Right. Alright, fossil souvenir. Right, so guys, uh, yeah, that is going to be it. Is there no actually way to go to like, there, is there no photo mode or something? Uh, no, I guess not, which is a shame because I just want to look at the part without all these dirty ass UI blocking my view. But hey, uh, so humans, dinosaurs, that's going to be it for today. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> You know what? We, we could actually just go on for a bit more. There's nine people. I mean, you, you know, we might as well keep going, right? All right. It is 1 a.m. My sleep schedule has been just devastated, but why not? Let's keep going, right? Let's grab the Deinonychus. Let's put you over here. All right. So why the hell are these this 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 thing of Deinonychus is so underfeded? The name Terrible Claw refers refers to the unusually large sickle slate shaped talon on the second toe of each hind foot. Yeah, I thought it was named after its teeth. <laughs> what do you think it was named for? Do you really have to point that out? <laughs> like stop pointing out the obvious. You don't have to say that. We can tell. Okay, you know what? Let's. Can we put lava? Let's put some lava here. Or no, let's, let's put in some tall grass. You know, as they say, don't walk into the tall grass. <laughs> right, and then I think we can put some lava here. Or some solid lava. Yes, yeah, solid lava. Just, just to make it a bit different. Okay, the Lophosaurus. Oh my god, it's it's lagging a bit. It's it's lagging a lot. Yeah, I, is it just me? I feel like the game is just lagging in general because there's so many dinosaurs. We have way too many. We gotta keep going though, Stigimolic. It's a stone type. Okay. Right, Stigimolic is here. It is kind of weird how it has a Stigimolic in this game, but not an actual Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, right. You know what? I'm just gonna name you Draco. Uh. Draco Rex. Right. <laughs> Draco Rex is here. Rock your head. Look at the baby up there. So cute. Right. Uh. 
So, yeah, let's see. Oh, we can breed T-Rex with Diablo Ceratops? Okay. And let's get Stegosaurus, uh, Stegosaurus and Nyctosaurus? What, what do I breed with Nyctosaurus? Was there a hybrid with Nyctosaurus in this game? I, I didn't know. Oh, Brachiosaurus? How do you Brachiosaurus? What? Why is this a hybrid between Nyctosaurus and Brachiosaurus? What? What does the Brachiosaurus have to do in this hybrid? Right, buildings, storage rooms, store store decorations and dinosaurs. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever need a storage room because we our map is so big. But hey, might as well add that in. Right, put away decorations and dinosaurs inside your storage. Alright, I mean, we have that. Don't think I'm gonna use it, though. Wait. Are all din- Like, is every dinosaur- does Do they all have this amount of, like, water stuff? Like, is there- Is there this many stone dinos? And this many desert dinosaurs? Because I feel like if that's the case- I mean, we could expand it like this way, and stone can go this way, so... I mean, I think there is a bit of space for all the dinos. To be fair, we also have all this over there that we still need to use. So how many harvests do we still need? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 12 dinos. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 22 more dinosaurs. D Rex, I would name it like Diablo Tyrannus. Like D Rex. Yeah, I guess that's what it's named. It's named D Rex. In 12 hours. It's a volcano type. There we have it. D Rex. The Boogie Rex. Oh, it can spit fire. I know it could. It, could, it freaking spits fire. Again, not so sure where Diablo Sartos plays a role here. Said to be the most feared dinosaur on the face of the planet. Yeah, and you created it. <laughs> you created the thing. Alright, let's make it a baby, baby raptor, raptor strike. Can't believe we actually ran out of gems. Wait, what the, what do you mean, baby Stigimoloch? Right. I thought we were, we were supposed to be breeding the other guy. No, there we go. Hatch egg. And there it is. I shall call you... Oh. The game crashed. Oh my, but I am getting pretty tired. I think we might call it a day. I know a lot of people are watching me, but... <laughs> I can't take it. I gotta sleep. <laughs> Alright, man's gonna sleep. The dinosaur's gonna get its beauty sleep. I know it's for you guys it's probably midday, but for me it's, it's like 1 a.m. So. <laughs> right. So guys, I think uh that is going to be it for today. I think we might jo uh, jump back into this game, maybe in a separate dinosaur gaming stream, just to finish it off. I think We're, we only have like 22 more dinosaurs, which I think is good enough to fill up the rest of the park. I think. But yes, if you decide to play this game, like. You know, drop some pictures down in the Discord so I can just take a look and get some inspired. So let me get inspired by, by your amazing dinosaur parks, right? Okay, so if I'm doing this video, leave a like. If I don't fit subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Expert with you. Bye bye